atmosphere inside to be controlled. Irrigation of crops is by an economical drip process, applied direct to the roots and using desalted seawater. Vegetables grown in desert sand are now supplied regularly to local markets. Certainly the potential for development along these lines is enormous. In a few years, the Gulf Emirates could be completely self-sufficient in fresh food. Abu Dhabi has welcomed people of many nationalities to help her development. People whose skills and expertise have enabled this young country to make her wealth productive. The foreigners have brought their own ways of life, their own customs. They are free to worship as they please. And they enjoy their own recreations. in some things, but not by any means in the basic foundation of Arab life. Sheikh Zayed will not allow the modernization of his country to blemish his people's traditions. He is determined to safeguard them. And though on some occasions his daily audience, the Majlis, may be a rather formal affair, with the ambassadors and industrialists, the envoys and the businessmen all thronging to present their greetings and respects, the ruler remains available to his own people, whatever their station. The humble Bedou from the desert knows that he is welcome. shake amongst his people. This is central to Arab life. Sheikh Zayed has enjoyed his people's respect, practicing their ways and joining in their traditional celebrations. Sheikh Zayed's outlook was not confined to Abu Dhabi. He took the diplomatic initiative in organizing a common defense policy for the Gulf Emirates. And in agreement with their rulers, he formed in 1971 the State of United Arab Emirates, 
of which he was elected president. And their affairs shall be resolved by consultation. The text from the Quran dominates the Union's Federal Assembly, a useful reminder to delegates from the seven member emirates. Their job, to formulate and coordinate federal laws and plans, so that all may benefit from the political, economic and social developments of the years ahead. For Abu Dhabi, the riches continue to pour in. In December 1973, the ruler visited Das Island for the inauguration of a multi-million dollar project. A project to utilize the natural gas from Abu Dhabi's offshore oil fields. A liquefied gas plant, the first of its kind in the Arabian Gulf, will produce millions of tons of liquid gas each year for export. You do not transform an archaic Arab state of desert nomads into a 20th century society in a month or a year or many years. Many factors are involved. You do it partly by two-lane highways and street lighting. You do it partly by concrete buildings and main drains. But mostly, you do it through the word. You do it by the fact that today, for the first time in the country's history, an entire generation is being educated. This, more than the roads and the rigs, the airports and the air conditioning, is the real revolution. Thank you.